Hey guys, welcome back to this channel. Today I'm going to be busting some of the myths around pathology and I'm actually shooting from my parents' house. That's why you see a different setup and I'm just trying to make it work. But if you're excited to come along with me, then make sure to subscribe, like this video and share it with anyone you feel it may help. Let's get started. So one of the common myths uh, around pathology is that pathologists don't have any patient interaction. Now that may be true to a certain extent, but it's definitely not entirely true uh, because there are certain subspecialities and areas of pathology where you do require certain amount of patient interaction and you do need to have good communication skill either ways because as pathologists, you will constantly be talking to physicians who are treating the patients. You will constantly be, you know, doing procedures. Uh, the areas of pathology, such as cytopathology, uh, as a cytopathologist, you have to do FNAs almost on a daily basis, which does require, uh, you know, patient interaction. You have to explain to the patient the procedures that you're about to do. You have to take a good history. You have to do physical exam. All of that uh, requires patient interaction. If you are in blood bank or in transfusion medicine, that is another area of pathology where patient interaction is must and cannot be avoided. So please do not think before taking a pathology that there's going to be like zero interaction. Uh, that's not always the case. And plus more than that, I feel it's also a personal choice as a pathologist. I will always feel more comfortable if I talk to patient one on one and take the history. I always make sure to, you know, have a word with them. It's not like zero patient interaction. Pathologists do interact with patients. Another common myth that I think people have is that pathologists are all introvert, which is why, you know, we like to be left alone behind the microscope in the basement in a dark room doing our own things which is what media has portrayed and the tv shows the medical dramas have shown but that's not at all true but it's not like you know all the pathologists are introvert there are many outgoing pathologists i know there are many of my professors seniors who've shown me that you know there there are different ways to do a certain things and uh, you can be social, you can prioritize your social life and you can be a really good um, communicator. You can be an extrovert while still being a pathologist. So, you know, that's not true that we are introvert. There are definitely, uh, you know, some exceptions like in every other field, but to generalize the whole idea that, you know, pathologists are just people who don't like to socialize uh, would be completely wrong because that's not at all true. So a lot of people have these notions that we're not real doctors. I don't know where it has come from. Uh, there's so much misrepresentation in this speciality. Uh, you have to go to medical school to be a pathologist. You have to do your MBBS to become a pathologist. And uh, it's crazy to me even think about the fact that certain people have this idea uh, because I have spent almost close to a decade training to become who I am and I'm only getting started. So we treat and diagnose patient, we are doctor's doctor because we tell your treating physicians what exactly is the diagnosis, whether uh, the treatment that they have given is actually working for patient or not. So yes, we are very much real. So let's just dive into AI and pathologist. A lot of uh, people have this myth that AI is going to replace us. Uh, and I'm the one who believes that that's not going to happen. Of course, I am like really excited for AI to come because pathology is one of the fields in medicine that is at the forefront of technological advancement. There's so much happening and AI is very, very good at quantifying stuff. So like, you know, quantifying the cells that has taken up the stain or, um, you know, differentiating a abnormal population of cells from normal. So I think AI is here to stay. AI is going to make my job easier. It will avoid all the tedious tasks that at best I can estimate, but I can never like, you know, quantify 
exactly um so i think ai is um, you know going to be revolutionary uh, in diagnostic it will reduce our workload it will help us give the most accurate diagnosis um so yeah it's it's not true that's going to replace us it's only going to support us um, you know to do our jobs better and uh, i cannot wait for it so those were some of the myths around pathology that i have heard and come across and i thought it's my job as a pathologist to kind of make this video and clarify them i hope you enjoyed it if you have any more myths or questions around pathology please drop them down in the comments below make sure you're subscribed to this channel like this video and i will see you with the next one bye bye <music>